that's the one we want to talk about. Yeah, and is this is your YouTube channel? No, this is my YouTube channel. Oh, there it is, Course of Curiosity, sure. Street Epistemology is the way to have the conversation I'm trying to use, to do. Huh. Um, yeah. I think it's great. Cool, let me get set here. Thanks for sitting down. Were you about to go on a hike? Okay. You're about to? We're ready. What's that? Were you about to go on a hike? Yeah, we're going to go. Um, I've been taking her more lately to come up here and get some exercise. Sweet. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. So you chose, is it ethical to, to limit, limit immigration, immigration to, to retain, retain a culture? A culture. So I've got this confidence scale here. If all the way to the right black is absolutely yes, we should limit immigration. Or it is ethical to limit immigration. Or all the way to the left white is absolutely no, it's not ethical. Where would you put your confidence about that? Wow. Um, my instinct is to just say... And you can change it. Uh, yeah. To start with, my instinct is to say absolutely it's not, not ethical in a general sense. But there are certainly situations, I'm sure, where I would change my mind or adapt it on the scale a little if we got talking. But okay. yeah, I don't think it's... So how far on that white side? I'm, I would initially say all the way to the white side is the first instinct I have. Okay. This is the it's not ethical side, correct? Yeah, you can move that red thing to... Yeah, like, oh, and move it? Yeah, you can move it. Yeah, I mean, I would say like that. Absolutely unethical? I just don't think it's ethical, however... If we say a few things, I also think that there's prop. I'm always open to the idea that there's um, sort of uh, on the uh, you know in the field and on the ground things that I'm certainly not thinking of or or unaware of, ignorant of mm -hmm. that I think you know we always have to take into account. So I suspect I'll bet you anything I'd end up more a little over there. So you're open-minded. Yeah, because I to, think um, yeah. we can't know every culture and what's considered ethical in any culture. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can ever have any absolutes. I don't think that way. I, I know what I strongly feel. Mm. And then if I'm educated about something, I might change my mind a little, mm -hmm. especially with culture mm. because it's such a subjective concept in many ways it's it's nebula, nebulous yeah, it's hard, I think, hard to you know, yeah well, we down. can't decide i suppose i mean we can't decide for a culture what uh even our own i think i suppose what we what it should do you know mm -hmm. the reason i would say generally far to the left is because culture gets acted upon and, and culture changes simply because of geography and, you know, geopolitics and politics. And so it's going to change anyway is what I was thinking. Culture is going to change anyway. I mean, it's always going to adapt mm -hmm. and change, right? Yeah. You know? Yet the idea is if we Im allow a lot of immigrants from a certain culture that would and we deem that culture to be not something we would like our culture to be like. Mm -hmm. If we have a lot of those immigrants, that might change our own culture to their culture. Well, and I, that would be bad. Well, yeah, I think that we're, we wouldn't be taking into account the idea of, of if we said, we, you know, certainly the climate now is, is, is really unpleasant, mm -hmm. to say the least. And if you're, somebody's being turned away, it's, mm -hmm. I mean... I, I can't even imagine, frankly, what it's like. Um, but why? But the, certainly, you know, just if we're thinking about our culture, you know, we've we've changed and developed as a country simply because of the mix of all the cultures. A lot of it doesn't work well, yeah. but we have changed because we have become what we are at the moment because of that. Just like the Rome did when it, you know, ancient Rome took on the the, the greater, you know, Syria, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it, they change too. Right? We always do, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you disagree with that? That what well, I'm saying here—that the yeah. cultures change just by the by the people that come, and so it's going to change inevitably. For sure, yeah. The yeah. cultures definitely are. It's inevitable. Cultures will change. Yeah, it's inevitable. And so I, that for that reason, I think. Well, wouldn't we want to? We, we we would limit our crime. We would have laws based on the culture that we. Um, that we have and the best we know. 
Mm -hmm. But we can't say, I don't want someone from Latin America simply because their culture is different, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So what kind of things could we learn or find out to shift our confidence the other way? What would, what's some type of criteria that if you found to be sufficient? Oh, to, to make it that you... To make it, to make this more likely to be true. Uh, the, the, to, to make it, you mean, uh, to be, make it likely to be true that we should limit? Yeah, that it is ethical. The other side, basically. Yeah, yeah what would shift your confidence? What would, what's oh, some of the criteria? What would shift? Oh, um, it's hard to picture what would change my mind about it. Yeah. I have to admit, uh, because... Even hypothetically. Hmm? Even hypothetically. Yeah, hypothetically, I suppose, gosh, even then, I mean, hypothetically, because all I keep thinking of, especially because of this, what's been sort of been uh, drummed in our heads, we have, you know, the ideas that, that um, the xenophobic <laughs> crowd uh, right now have is this ideas of terrorism and, and uh, you know, heinous crime that somehow is, is deemed to not be part of us, which is not true. So mm -hmm. I, I just think it's very hard, for, I must admit, it's very hard for me to picture what, what would make me see that it's ethical to limit immigration because the, the, uh, from a cultural perspective, mm -hmm. from a, um, I think we've always had limits, and I don't know the history, the, the, the history, but I know that there's always been limits in the states and in other countries, Germany and all, because just simply because of resources. Mm -hmm. And, and the, that, if, it depends how we, who we decide can't come. Yeah, if we can't take all the rest of the world, we have to have some type of criteria for criteria. choosing. And I think that should have to do with resources. You know, we, we don't have the resources to just say, to tell everybody to come. Then you get to, well, should, then who do okay. you decide? Yeah, should there just be like a random lottery from people? Or do, is there, what's the criteria? That's a really good... Uh, gosh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what... I, I suppose I don't know enough to know how you allocate... What I can't picture what it is that makes people allocate numbers that get to come here of different cultures. Mm -hmm. We want to have, be able to have asylum seekers. We want to have different uh, uh, types of, um, of uh, knowledge bases and, and mm -hmm. you know, people who can work in certain areas. On the other hand, do we say we could have six of these and three of these? And well, we could have some from this country who, who are great at you know, software development, but we can't have them from another country because are they disqualified from, you know, something? And it, it just seems, I, I, can't, I can't imagine how difficult it must be to try and make those decisions. Mm -hmm. And I, it's hard for me to picture, well, what would it be that would make me think we just, we, we say we've had enough. What would a country have to be in order for, like, it to be not even on the table for immigrants from there hmm. to uh, to come here. That's a great question. I, I wonder if it had to be. It would have to be very small and incredibly limited in resources, so that uh, so that you, you simply couldn't take in people. But at that point, wouldn't you? It would still be difficult because would you say, well, we can let this group in or that? It would have to be. I would think. And I know that there are countries who completely limit it based on space and resources. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I would, it would have to be as equally decided as, I mean, I, I mm -hmm. get to say that because I'm not a, a person in charge of a country. So mm -hmm. <laughs> in immigration, I suppose I can make yeah. it easy by saying that. By, by that question, I mean, is there some type of norms or values or beliefs oh. people could have that would disqualify them? From coming in? From coming? I don't see it that way because I always see it in terms of action. Okay. You know, the beliefs are never the problem. We have every possible, I certainly think here. Already here. We yeah. already have. Mm -hmm. And so we can't say if you are, you believe the, um, you secretly believe in 
that the Nazis were right or, so, or are right or something, that you can't come in. We, on the other hand, it's about the behavior that are, are we, do we have to investigate whether somebody has been dangerous somewhere else based on a belief and is going to come here. I don't, yeah. it seems awfully, yeah. awfully difficult to do. We, if hypothetically, like, Nazi Germany still existed, mm -hmm. and there's just people who believe there should be a white ethno state. Yeah. But some of those people wanted to just, I don't know, I guess if they wanted to immigrate to the US, they wouldn't have that belief. But just hypothetically, sure, sure. if they still had that belief that they wanted to turn the US into a, also a white ethno state, mm -hmm. would we be quali would that be ethical to limit immigration from there in order to That's make so it? That's so hard to, you know. I think it would sound, <laughs> this is a great question, because I think it sounds awfully uh, sort of knee-jerk, liberal, just like it would, the other side would be knee-jerk, conservative. It would be awfully knee-jerk, liberal to say, absolutely not, you know? Mm -hmm. But within that question, it presupposes that you would know who that person, who they're coming to join, how many people are, what the plan is, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So it just seems to presuppose that you have knowledge about uh, the, um, the sophistication of a, of a plan like that. Mm -hmm. A plot, if you know a plot, well, we keep people out already because we know that there's a plot and a behavior that they're, they are attempting. But if we knew someone yeah. who felt that there should be a, an Aryan race in this country, we, well, we have them, A, but B, wouldn't we limit them based on, uh, uh, it would be too hard to, to discern how to, dis, to, take, to if, not have them. We do this with the Muslim countries already, and it's mm -hmm. a disaster for us. We decide that somebody, I have clients who have, you know, Muslim or Muslim and have Muslim, obviously, a, a couple of common names. One of them has been um, every time he leaves the country, he's a citizen, you know, leaves the country, he's not allowed yeah. back because his name is the same as someone else. Yeah, just imagine if we had perfect interviewing or some way to discern their beliefs of the, the people uh, who wanted to immigrate. And they were just, there's like the ethno state people, and there's like uh, Islamic wanting to turn the US into like a, an Islamic, an Islamic caliphate. Uh -huh. with, like, a, with like the most conservative, authoritarian version of Sharia law. Sharia law. Mm -hmm. We have these people, and we have the perfect way to tell if they believe what they believe. And if we find that out, should that be a criteria for immigration, no. for limiting immigration? I honestly think not, because no? we, first, on a just a, a practical level, Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, even if you could absolutely know that person had the beliefs, taking the hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical. Yeah, which of course it's hypothetical. If you knew they had those beliefs, mm -hmm. it's a far, uh, it's a big throw to that they have the, um, the means and the, uh, the resources, the number of people mm -hmm. who actually can make that happen? And do we have to hold everybody, yeah. and this is rhetorical obviously, but do we have to hold everybody in a pen for a few years and say we want to make sure that y'all don't um, uh, uh, coagulate in one place and cause uh, damage? Well, it's, it's, it's the idea that we, we, we can't, even if we knew that, at, at, perfectly that that's what this person and his entire family or her entire family wanted to do. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have evidence that they're doing it. So that's why we have laws. Mm. And it seems like to have a law that says we're allowed to cut people out because of beliefs mm -hmm. is, um, is more dangerous for the people who are already here. So we, yeah. we can't. I, that's how I would see it. Yeah, we have laws, yet our laws are able to be revised with enough people if we vote a certain way. Mm -hmm. So if, hypothetically, we okay. had, if we had like 300, we have 330 something, or 350 million people, if we just double our population mm -hmm. and half of them 
I that like the most fundamentally conservative mm -hmm. Islamic people, mm -hmm. they could, and they just, they could change the constitution. They could change the mm -hmm. laws of everywhere, anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, ideal, yeah, I mean, know, I suppose it depends. What the, that's such a, you know, great, one reason it's a great question is mm -hmm. that it, it causes you to think in terms of, uh, have to ignore that there isn't a continuum and a, um, uh, a tipping point that happens and growth into a culture and all that. So it's as if mm -hmm. we would have to assume that all of a sudden we'd have 350 more million more people just, and within five years they're going to change the, the our entire culture. And it's it, mm -hmm. it, it, it it's it's very far fetched. It's a hypothetical, yeah, yeah. and that's why you're posing it that way. Mm -hmm. But it's so not possible that it's hard for me to comprehend. Yeah, so that's just like a widely implausible. It's widely implausible. You're not yeah. implying that it's anything yeah. but that. But it's just like if that were true, in we know in a week we've got 350 million people at the shore, and I guess we would fight a war at that point because we'd have this many people. Just like over our, over 500 years, we let oh 300 people, 300 million people in, or like yeah. just millions of people in every year. Uh huh. Just continuously. And you just kept it. going. Yeah. At what point do you decide? At what point do you decide then? Um, you, well, we've we've learned enough now, and we got to be careful for the next three hundred million. This is the question we're having now, mm. and which is why you're asking it. It's a great question, but mm. we can't. At any given time, we we can't know. So because mm -hmm. of that, if if you absolutely knew, it would even be to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, unethical to limit it now because it's. I think it depends on the person you're asking because it's hard to fathom. It's so hard for me to fathom that. So any hypothetical disconfirmation criteria for this? Mm -hmm. To mind? me? Uh, if the belief is it is unethical to limit immigration, what would make that, what's a disconfirmation oh, for, okay. that, for that? It would be the um, uh, to make it ethical. The intent uh, the intent of crime, the stated intent of crime. I'm coming here, and on Tuesday, I want to immigrate, but on Tuesday, I'm going to blow up the our state building. Yeah. And here's, which is also hypothetical. And I'm telling you that I'm going to in my immigration interview. Then you'd say, well, the et the cultural ethic is yeah. trumped by the danger that you're posing, and then you would, I suppose, say you can't come in. Hmm. But that would be a certain, a certain knowledge that this was going to happen, which again is a... Yeah, that's a, down the extreme line. Is there anything more plausible or like less oh. extreme? What's the line? The line, gosh, you know, I think the next line to me is, is resources. It? Are we, you know, is somehow, and again, it's hard for me to picture, do we, are we, you know, say we're a very small country, if we were a very small country, um, I was just in the Faroe Islands, way up by, in the North Sea. They're a Danish republic, mm -hmm. very small. They have, I think it's 50,000 people over several islands, okay. right? And they, so their resources are not big. Yeah, if like 100,000 Americans immigrated there, yeah. they would be just be I think nothing. That, I think they would be justified in saying, well, if you're all coming right now, we, we don't have the resources. It's yeah. not about your culture. So, we simply can't do the people, so I so suppose. So it, it depends on, like, the capacity and, like, availability of resources in the country? Yeah, it would it seem to me that if, you if like you say, if it's hypothetical, which is good, mm -hmm. you know, if 100,000 people came there and said, we're coming, <laughs> what are you, we, we'd like you to let us all in right now. Or, they, you know, or we just, over le our, or just legally apply for immigration. Yeah, legally apply, and, uh, and I'm not sure what they're doing there. I was asking somebody about it, but they... They simply don't have the resources, so that would, to me, then, it then does get to, well, who do you let in, and is mm -hmm. that a lottery? You and know? hypothetically, if people can't get in legally and just started showing up on the shore, mm -hmm. tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands at the time, of a t like just thousands at a time every month, would it be okay for them to like make a border wall? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know what they want. <laughs> I'm glad I don't live there. No, yeah. but <laughs> I certainly don't think. I, look, uh -huh. it, I, it's hard talking to a relativist about this stuff. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm, I mean, me. It's like okay. I know it's because it's very hard for me to picture the mm -hmm. hypothetical. And I say, well, it's it changes with each. Um, in in the context, yeah. Yeah, the context, and that's why the questions you're asking are great, but it's, it changes. Like, I simply don't think this border wall, I think it's, it, it, it's just a, you know, what's the word? It's just a tilt heat at a windmill kind of thing. It's, mm. it, it, it's not gonna change that people will find another way. Mm. Um, and uh, if they're gonna be, if they wanna illegally come here, and mm. you know, I think the ethics, it, it becomes unethical when you apply a one way or the other, I suppose, it becomes an ethical if you, you apply a general thing that people from Latin America can't come here, people from Central America can't come here. That's, you know, if you say, well, we don't have the resources, we don't know, so we're going to have to find the most egalitarian way. Uh, I don't even know what that is, and I'm so glad I'm not an immigration or a politician. Yeah, it's very <laughs> complex. Yeah. It's awfully complex. Yeah. I do know that right now, a, a close friend of mine, his wife, is not able to come here. She's from a nation, you know, she's a brown person. They've been married uh, year, year, two years. They have a one-year-old, a 14-month-year-old baby, a 14-month oh. um, uh, uh, baby, mm -hmm. month-old baby. Yeah. And they haven't been able to come, um, even though he's married to her and the baby's officially a citizen. Yet, I also know someone oh, wow. who is, they're, they're still in the throes of, is it gonna work, is it not, and it might be longer. They've been trying for nearly two years, even though he's a citizen. I also know someone hmm. I was talking to last week who is Dutch. Hmm. He got in, uh, it took, I think, a few months and two questions in his interview, and he was married, you know, he oh. and his American, sorry. Uh, he was American also married bride. to American citizen? Yeah, and so it took him within a couple of months. Yet he's and white because he's Dutch? So I'm assuming because he could, yeah, and yet she has to guarantee his, you know, she has 10 years, I think she sort of has to guarantee him financially, even though he's got a marvelous job, uh -huh. and yet, and, you know, my friend would have to do that, I think, for his wife, but it is awfully, it's, no one can say that it's some sort of conspiracy, but I have to say, it's a little telling that it's, you know, a, a, a middle-income person from an Asian country who is not Muslim, by the way, can't get in here even though she's married and has a child with someone who the child has become a citizen. That's, and yet, that's strange. You know, and yeah, and then the other one can't. It just seems a little... It just seems a little obvious in our current mm -hmm. IR, but I, I'm not a conspiracy therapist, but I have to say it's a little obvious. Are you saying there's a conspiracy in the immigration I don't think there's office? a conspiracy. I think it's, it's, clearly, it's clearly weighted towards someone from Europe, which tends to be someone who's white. Mm -hmm. It seems to be because of God knows what, culture, the appearance of money, mm whether or not the money's exact or not, you know, in that case, that person does have some money mm. and, a, and a, a job that is, you know, a, a valuable job here. So, but it was really about the marriage on both that yep. allowed each one of these to have where, go wherever they're going. Yeah, I'd have to look into that more uh, to know more about it. So, still was talking about this. Has your confidence changed at all? And do we know specific criteria that could change your confidence? Yeah. Well, what does change a little is that, I mean, I would keep it where I am, but mm -hmm. uh, the questions you ask are, are, are good because they do cause you to say that there are times when you would make more limits than others. Um, I think they're based on uh, uh, base kind of things like resources and mm -hmm. and uh, you know stated uh, approvable damage you're going to do. However, yeah. I still think it, it hasn't changed me from thinking we, there's no ethical way to say you don't get to come in mm -hmm. in, a, in a in a in a philosophical sense. There's just I, it's hard for me to picture that. There's no ethical way. Okay. If, hmm. 
I, I think those hypotheticals that, yeah. are great, but okay. I think it, it, it's, yeah. it's just the type of person I am. It's hard for me to think anything yeah. but the gray area. And those gray areas exist, and some of the things you're asking do say, yes, some of the gray areas exist. Mm -hmm. You can't just show up on our shore and have 100,000 people who are just going to come in and say, hi, we're 100,000 of us are here to change California's culture, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose so, but that's all at once. That would, you know, that, that's hypothetically all at once, and it just says, so it doesn't really change me from here. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. if you see me again, maybe we could pick it up or pick something else. That was really great. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank I appreciate it. Really it was fun. It. Yeah, nice I to meet you. It. All right, take care. Thanks. See you. Have yeah, a good hike. See you. Thank you.